you know, I had those big plastic rimmed glasses and I had oily hair and they used to pull my pigtails and, and you know, uh, call me chashmish and, and of course, uh, the braces and it, that all those, th those things did not help. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like my decision to take part in the pageant somewhere stemmed from that, to break free from that and to see whether yeah. I can be something more than that. You know, the flip side of this is what we are often told that you have to be a certain kind of face, a certain kind of lips, a certain kind of nose, a certain kind of hair. I have a six year old who's already, already saying, when is my hair going to grow straight <laughs> and long, right? Um, did you find yourself navigating, steering towards what they expect a woman to be like? Of course, because that is how you grow up. Uh, th those are the notions and perceptions that you grew up with, right? Uh, skin color a certain way, hair a certain way, look a certain way. Um, so those are the things uh, that you are told or rather that is what you see around you as well. Yeah. Um, so that, that did uh, uh, kind of actively stay in my my conscious and subconscious mind that I had to be a certain way and I had to look a certain way. Uh, uh, of course, uh, none of that was, I did not ever share that with my parents. Uh, my father, uh, of course, uh, had a, he was, you know, Durdarshi bolte hai na, farsightedness, he had that for me. And um, he got everything sorted. I had braces in my eighth standard and of course by 10th or 11th I was looking much better the way my teeth are today and of course I used to wear lenses then and um, it did get better, it always does for everyone but those initial years, impressionable years do kind of make or break you. 